Yeah. Something different. Let's go outside, Libra. It's Libra season. Oh, got some background music here. But Libra can't control the neighbors, right? But I want to go outside for autumn and the fall and really talk about what's going on and who you are, you know? Um, amazing. Air sign. The second air sign ruled by Venus. Cardinal energy, which is the, the first of each season, right? So Libra is the first of autumn. And, you know, the air signs are, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we're talking about people who, let's keep it real, Libra. You are up in the air and you are not grounded. You are concerned about other people, how they view you, how everything should be in its proper place and beauty and uh, balance and fairness, which is great. That's why you're good social workers, therapists, child psychologists, event planners, uh, chefs, actors, actresses, musicians, anything with beauty. You know, and then of course you got the athletes, Kevin Durant, Steve Young, more intelligent, you know, athletes, but they're concerned about others, right? Steve Young, oh, get the monkey off my back, Kevin Durant, you know, Twitter stuff. So, uh, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Double, Double O G G, baby. <laughs> Libras are, um, you know, when you think about this air sign, you think about Venus, and they share Venus with Taurus, right? The planet that rules it. It is about beauty and relationships. But you guys, I think you get sometimes a bad rap because you can come across as fake or phony or so agreeable, but that's, you kind of want peace and harmony and love and beauty and you want people to agree. So Libra officially is from September 26th to October 20th, okay? Now we know with the degrees and stuff, really it's uh, September 23rd, 24th, 25th, but that's zero, one, and two degrees. So just to explain to you, the, the cusp is a five-day orb. So you're talking 28, 29, zero, one, two in terms of the degrees, okay? So the Libra itself is, um, they're magical because they can sort of, they know how to get what they want and they can speak to you in a way that's going to make you comprehend and accept whatever they're spewing out they can be kind of a passive aggressive but and manipulative when they're on their lower vibration so stop that libra okay you gotta stop that but they're 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 amazing right because not only do they speak beautiful they they are beautiful in their dress subtle sometimes the women they can wear too much perfume but usually libras are just um i don't know i mean i think of the famous people which we'll get to right and their love matches and all that stuff but like nev campbell they just have this sweet serene subtle beauty and they can be very sexy libras um definitely like lower back massage that's like sort of their herogenous area um they have to watch their weight you know they get stressed easily and very emotional and sensitive all right libras be honest and i know you got a libra sister love my sister two libra grandmothers one i grew up with one passed when my mom was 14 my mother's mother but um so libras have been in my life and i miss my grandmother so much god rest her soul all right, from Daytona Beach, Tampa, Florida, though, is where she, you know, my family's from, the Taylors. But, um, you know, sh Libras, they can be uh, amazing cooks, and they like to make stuff from scratch. I know that my sister, some of my good Libra girlfriends, my grandmother, she made cakes, ice cream. They had a farm, you know, chickens and dogs and all types of stuff, but they made everything, she made everything from scratch. Truly amazing. And what's amazing about you guys is that you you have this um, 
this way of just communicating and getting others to understand your will or your desires. And it's not always in a manipulative way. It can be a positive way. But this is why you're such good uh, social workers, lawyers, uh, life coaches, therapists, right? Because you, you will listen and calculate and absorb whatever, whatever someone's problem or situation is. And you'll walk in their shoes and you'll, you'll get it, right? And you have that empathy, that caring, that kindness. You really want the fairness and the balance, right? Libra is ruled by the seventh house, right? The other half, the marketplace, balance. You know, like uh, when you see those scales, it's not just for judge and courtroom. It's like when you're shopping and stuff, it's the way the food on the scales. Um, so, oof, getting hot, Libra. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what that's about. So, I think, um, you know, there's there's something inside of you that you don't feel truly right if you're not in a relationship and love. Libras kind of learn who they are through relationships. Libras are not too introspective. They don't like to be criticized. They can um, get their feelings hurt very easily. They can get eczema, stress, like I said, they can get big weight shifts. Um, but they're beautiful, the way they dress, like I was saying before. So they'll, they'll dress nice, but it won't be, uh, you know, like so bold, like a Gemini or a Leo, it'll be more subtle. But when you really pay attention and look, man, they're sharp, put together. I always joke with Libra men, I used to tease one of my buddies, but Libra men, they're, uh, <laughs> So they're the type of men that would iron their undershirts, right? Their white beaters, I hate to say that term. But their undershirts, their socks, their boxers, they'll iron everything. Sometimes that's too much. Now Virgos, we want to be sharp and have stuff ironed and be nice and most, you know, whatever. Depends on how you were raised, right? But, but Libra is just like, uh, oh, is there a crease in this and this and that, you know? So they're great at planning parties event planners, wedding planners, but Libras will plan a party, I mean, and just make it fun, and they're great teachers, not just social, social workers, but great teachers, too. I worked with some amazing Libra teachers who I just adore, that, um, you know, and they have such a heart. They can work with uh, severely disabled children. I worked with some great Libras at my school when I worked with kids with uh, autism and blindness and cerebral palsy and Down syndrome and Tourette's. Libras are all up in the building making sure these kids are taken care of in a way that only Libra can do, you know? So, one thing I will say is that you guys, you know, you can, um, you need to be out in nature. Libras are attracted to, and we'll get to the love matches, but they like people that are outgoing and adventurous. That makes, that attracts Libra. You know, they they like that in a man or a woman, you know. Um, Libra men and, and women are very similar, but very different. I think Libra women, when they meditate and chill and pray and relax, they can be more intuitive. Men, they're, they're interesting because because of that Venus and, and Libra energy, they know how to finesse things and be the jack of all trades, right? So they can cook and be a chef and fish and, you know, work at construction or whatever, but then at the same time, they know how to, you know, go out dancing and plan this great evening of adventure and romance, you know, Libras are, uh, Libra men can be like that. It's a, it's a great sign, you know? Um, I think the key is really in life for Libras to find a way to trust themselves. They're, they're looking for, you know, gratification and understanding of themselves through others. And that doesn't always work for you. You've got to sometimes, and they're not always good judges of character. Um, and We'll get to the love matches, but two Libras, that rarely works. But you gotta know, right? So it's your sun sign, your ego, stuff like that, right? But 
Your moon is your personality and true inner self. Your rising sign is your mask and how others see you and perceive you. So really you need to get your birth chart done, right? Come hit, hit up your boy, Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching, right? At gmail.com. It's only $65 for a detailed birth chart with 12 houses breaking it down. And you need to know where your planets are and stuff. I mean, everyone should get a, a birth chart done. It's information for introspection, self-awareness, self-love, for learning, you know, what about your childhood you need to let go of and unlearn. Learning about your parents, your children. It's all in your chart. It's scary. It's amazing. Okay? But um, as a relationship coach, you know, I, I've worked with Libras before. You know, and they... Sometimes they can have some hard ways in love, you know? They can get too vulnerable and too trusting and get caught up in a, like all of us, but get caught up in a bad relationship for too long. The women more so than the men, okay? Oof, you see, it's kind of hot, I'm sweating. And um, Libras won't tell you this, but they like a little dirty talk. <laughs> um, hygiene's important. You know, they like color, you know, they like bright colors. They like conversation. They also want people to kind of agree with them, right? I always say Libras are, they're kind of funny in this sense, right? Everybody talks about the courtroom or balance or fairness, and they're good lawyers, right? But uh, they are the judge, jury, and prosecution and defense in their own court of laws. Does that make sense? So fairness and balance, yeah, but it, it's in their courtroom. It's in their system. So it's hard to get Libras sometimes. I think it's hard sometimes to get them to change their mind. You know, they can be so uh, focused on the way that they've known things to work or do, you know. It's hard to get them to envision other ways. The only way you can do that is talking to them one-on-one -on -one and you plant little seeds and then they'll ponder it and... They have to feel like it's their own idea. <laughs> Sorry, Libra, I'm telling the truth about you. Um, brilliant, good writers, very intelligent, um, good actors, right? Because they can walk in other people's shoes and they're good listeners. And that's good for acting and for being a lawyer. Interior designers, amazing. I told you wedding and event planners, social workers, uh, therapists, even doctors, child psychologists. They're good with children. Great mothers. Good fathers, not quite as good. Because the Libra man is more into self and accomplishments. Very driven. But they're still good guys. Um, cool, funny, versatile. Um, I think, um, you know, when you start to look through all the houses and the chart, right? That sixth house of Virgo is sort of, you know, work and, and career and co-workers, enemies and this and that. So then the seventh house is the second, right? It's like the Virgo is a humanitarian and finding perfection and, and logic and stuff. In the, oh, and the Libra is, is very um, left brain, okay? And they like patterns and systems and, you know, kind of like logic, but they're very left brain. And, um, but it's like, like I said, the other half, so it's about relationships. It's about other people's money, contracts, agreements. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're about fairness and balance. But, um, you know, if you wrong them, they don't really forget it. They, it's hard for them to forgive. They'll, they might stay around for a bit, but it's hard for Libras to forgive and forget. Um, a lot of Libras secretly like to curse, even though they're very sweet and soft-spoken and beautiful, and they, da 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 da, -da but, you know, <laughs> and they get stressed when they're driving a lot, I don't know, I'm sure all people do, but I've seen it with Libras a lot, uh, Beautiful sunny day. Ah, this is definitely autumn. Libras, get outside in nature. Now, let's talk about these love matches. Now, of course, their opposite is Aries. They're good with Aries. Um, the fire signs, you know, as an air sign, they're good with, and like I said, you need to know the Mars and Venus, right? For a woman, you need to know the males of Jupiter. 
for a man, you need to know the woman's, you know, Venus and even their moon and stuff. But, um, so, you know, you need to know uh, that they can work with fire signs and other air signs. I don't like two Libras together, but it depends on where their placements are, their moon and their rising and their chart and Mars and Venus. But Libra's good with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, good with Gemini, Aquarius. They can work really well with the Aries Taurus cusp, maybe a Taurus, you know, the earth sign, but, it, you know, earth and air sometimes, they just don't communicate so well. But it's always about the planet placement, right? So, like, if you're a Libra sun sign, your Mercury is going to be either uh, Libra Scorpio Sag, right? And the Venus could be Virgo Libra Scorpio. That's how it works out, sort of like two signs away, either two after or one before the same or one after for uh, the Venus. Um, so, but they, Libras like to, um, I think a Taurus Gemini cusp can work. Um, maybe Pisces Aries cusp, maybe. Um, but the thing is, like, you're complete opposite, right? The, the Libra and the Aries, all opposites, it's like they really connect or they can really bump heads. But they're going to be attracted to each other. The Aries, they love the Libra's uh, elegance and grace and, you know, they're like a swan and, you know, got the long neck sometimes. And, you know, Libra's, um, it's like they're just doing this different dance. Taurus has it too. It's, uh, they're peaceful, they're slow, harmony, harmonic, you know? And um, Libras can't really sit still. Either they gotta talk, oh, and they can on their lower vibration. They can be very gossipy. Libras will be all up in your business. They don't like to reveal that much about themselves. <laughs> That's what's so funny. Libras will, you know, know everything about you, but you won't know that much about a Libra. <laughs> That's real, okay? <laughs> You boy, Eric Teller, keep it real for you, you know? Tell it to your coaching, right? But um, I could see them maybe even with a Aquarius Pisces cusp. Now, you normally will teach the sign before you. So with Virgos, Libras will teach Virgos life lessons, and then they'll learn life lessons from Scorpios. Just how it kind of works. Um, yeah. These are some fascinating people, so, you know, but I will tell you always, right, I, you know, I tend to say put God first, pray, meditate, right, but astrology is on point, it's no joke, numerology too, you know, um, and Libras are, are people who, you know, they could be into uh, collecting things, um, you know, They'll have nice linens and bed sheets. House will smell good. Whether they're into incense and candles or just whatever, you know, the family photographs and, you know, they save all the pictures and the ticket to my first opera <laughs> or your first football game with a Libra dude, you know. Um, but they're, they're, they want to make things. Look at Steve Young and Durant, right? They want to be unique. You know, but they want to, they're driven, you know, they, but it's about relationship, you know, I think Durant, you know, he went to the Warriors because it was a good fit, a good relationship. He wanted to win, but he wanted to have that connection, that bond. And now he's going to have that when he gets healthy with Kyrie in Brooklyn, right? Snoop Dogg, you know, connecting with Dre and, and you know, working with different people. Dog pound and stuff like that. And so versatile, right? Football coach, he's in the sports, acting, commercials. I mean, Snoop's amazing, had an amazing career. Ain't nothing like that first album, right? Doggy style and gin and juice rolling down the street. <laughs> yeah. So, and you think of the great actors, Clive Owen, Tim Robbins, who gets all the famous people. Libras, um, Sigourney Weaver. You guys, um, oh, my man, John Favreau. <laughs> oh, man, he's a good dude. But, uh, 
you guys definitely, of course Matt Damon, you guys have got to accept yourself and who you are. And take the time to be alone. Don't always worry about the relationship and being someone for someone else. Be someone for you. Alright? Learn who you are. Get your birth chart done. It will help you. Alright? Hit me up. Follow. Please like and follow and subscribe my subscribe to my page. Check me out at Twitter, ta Taylor2C, IG, taylor to you coaching, right? The two and the you, taylor to you because I'm about transforming you. In my coaching programs, whether it's relationship coaching, elevators to marriage, the self-esteem confidence coaching for kids, helping the kids, right? They need that swag and confidence. And it's through the arts. That's what Libras are great at, creativity in the arts, right? So writing uh, hip-hop rhymes and acting monologues and performing it, it's a game changer. And then chronic illness coaching as a health coach, getting you right, your brain, your heart, your spirit, your gut, right? Cleaning it all out. That's what Libras are about. I had a great friend as a Libra who really, you know, put me on a good path in life. She might not even know it, but I, I needed to know her and meet her, and she was a gift, a blessing, you know? And then some of my great Libra uh, friends that I used to work with, you know, Kareen and Meredith, they're like my sisters, you know, amazing human beings, you know? My grandmother used to send me birthday cakes in the mail from Tampa, Florida, that she made from scratch with my cars that I left there over the summer. That's a Libra. Never doubt yourself. You're amazing. Just stay on your higher vibration, all right? And, and, and don't gossip and don't stress and worry that you're not enough. Figure out who you are and be true to yourself and don't always try to people please. You try to people please too much and people take advantage of you and I hate to see that. All right, Libras? Don't be so sensitive and emotional. I mean, you're passionate and you're smart and, and you know, but take time to meditate and, and, and eat right and, and be intuitive. It's in you. Venus is an interesting, amazing planet. But I know you need that connection with everyone in your life. So let's, let's take this inside and let's look at the famous people. We'll wrap it up. But, um... Yeah, you know, you, your cardinal energy, your, your air sign, your fairness, your balance. You, the more you write and keep a dream book, a daily journal, drink a lot of water, it will help you. Also, Libra, you've got to um, keep yourself, you like to be in motion, but, but stretch. Do yoga, exercise. That will help you. Um, you know. And let your significant other be who they are. Don't have a, a vision of what you think they should be. Love and accept them for who they are. And they'll do that for you. That's key and important for Libras. Alright? And, um... Yeah, you're, you're, you're something else, Libra. You, you definitely, uh, and you, the men, you can be a little bit more sensitive. Don't be so stoic all the time. Be a little warmer, you know. You definitely are a leader, Libra men, and you're funny, charismatic. Oh, your charm, you're super charming, the men and the women. But use your charm for good, not to control people or manipulate them to stay with you in a relationship or be connected to you, okay? Your charm should be because you're just so magnetic and you're trying to connect with others. That's, that's what your charm should be used for. All right? And, um, yeah, that, that Venus energy is something. <clears throat> so let's, let's get to the, to the Snoop Dogs and the Tim Robbins and the Matt Damons and... John Favreau's and Clive Owens and so many more. All right, Libra. Make sure you hit me up. That birth chart done. Tailored to you coaching. Z -z 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 know your zodiac sign. 
I'm gonna spit it in that rhyme. The Virgo will help you. Yes, I will. It's getting hot out here, Libra. It's autumn. In Arizona, it's still hot. <laughs> oh man, Taylor, to you, coaching. All right, let's go back in. Peace, Libra. That's what you like, beauty, peace. And you're clever. You're definitely clever. And definitely handsome and attractive and sexy and beautiful. And Libra women, um, they might not come across as it, but they're, they're a little sex bunny. <laughs> you know I know. I know the truth about all the signs. All right? Oh, I'm going to do a video about sex with the signs and stuff. Uh, people have been asking for it. I'm going to do that. I, right, Libra, I'll tell everybody about you in that video. <laughs>we're back inside let's check out these famous people because they're definitely fascinating famous people snoop dogg cardi b zach efron and Eminem, bruno mars simon keller steve young bill wayne paul c kevin durant nick cannon mickey mantle nave campbell jesse eisenberg kate winslet matt damon stickerney weaver hugh jackman naomi what's when it paul trope Owen Jean, Clyde Van Damme, Hillary Duff, Tim Robbins, Christoph Waltz, Sasha Baron Cohen, Alicia Silverstone, John Favreau, Susan Sarandon. Now, I worked with John Favreau on the film Made. Tim Robbins, Susan Sarandon, right? They were a couple for a long time. Snoop Dogg, Steve Young, Kevin Durant, Christoph Waltz. Um, I didn't have her on here, but. Uh, the girl from Game of Thrones. There's so many actors and actresses, famous people, but with the Libra and that Venetian, Venus energy, a lot of attractive people. Um, but you know, they're always about the other half and uh, Nev Campbell, one of my favorite. And Libras are, look, I've already said it before, but truly, truly fascinating, amazing people. But you need to know like the, the three prongs of the personality, right? It's the rising sign, your mask, your outer self, your sun sign, sort of your ego, how you're driven personality, and then your moon, your personality and inner, inner needs and you know, how you react emotionally. You know, I would say the, the moon is sort of um, when you're home alone, Netflix and chilling or watching TV in your sweatpants and uh, your hair is pulled up, whatever. But Libras, they have got to spend more time with themselves, you know? I mean, that, that's an impressive list of, of famous people, you know, that um, you know, Matt Damon, Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> so, but that's it, you know, Taylor to you coaching. Hit me up at taylor to you coachingcom or taylor to you coaching at gmail.com. Here you can follow me at Twitter at taylor 2 c you know, and um, to me, it's really about trying to get more and increase self-awareness so that you understand who you are on this journey or for your kids. It can really help you become a better parent to get your birth chart done with all the 12 houses. It's only $65. You know, you hit me up at taylor 2 coaching at gmail.com. I can get that going. I have a new client who, you know, wants to do this for her daughter for her 21st birthday. So it's, it's really a blessing, you know, and it's something that I think everyone should get done. But just in general, it's it's more information. You know, Libra, the, the seventh house, you know, it's an air sign, second air, cardinal, the first of each season, it likes to initiate. But Libra is the other half, right? Fairness, balance, but also agreements, contracts, the marketplace. That's, that's, that's the seventh house. That's Libra. They are about relationships and beauty and pretty things and nice conversation and balance and fairness. So Libras, hit your boy Eric Taylor up. All right. Get this relationship coaching, elevators to marriage program, nine weeks, nine floors, only $400 or just get your birth chart done. But I can definitely, you know, help you learn different things that can help you in, in your journey and in your life, Libra, that can really 
just be a huge blessing. Okay? So, that's what it's all about. Trying to be positive and in these crazy times, trying to find a way to increase love and peace and balance in relationships. And that's what Libras do. They make parties and work and everything pretty and they like to walk in your shoes and be psychologists and understand who you are so hit me up taylor to coaching at gmail.com make sure you like share and subscribe to my page on youtube follow me on twitter facebook instagram taylor to coaching right you see what it is so you famous people Hope you enjoyed the breakdown, the love matches, all the good stuff. And yes, just so you know, Will Smith and Michael Douglas, Catherine Zeta-Jones, they're Libras too, but they they got a splash of Virgo because they're really on the cusp, that 24th, 25th. But um, yeah, they're, they're Libras. They're like more one or two degrees though, all right? And Libras with their ego, um, it can be a little debilitated up to 10 degrees the early Libras, you know, so by the 26th, you're at like three degrees, it's September 26th, so, you know, that means we're talking about anybody after, let's say, October 6th or 7th, you, you should be, your ego should be in a better place, but the journey is to learn yourself. Don't think and rely on yourself. Don't think you always need love and a relationship to be complete, Libra, but it is your nature. So maybe you need to reach out and get a relationship coach. Either way, I got you covered. Eric Taylor, Taylor to your coaching. All right, Libras, I love you. You know, I got Libra friends, my homegirls, Meredith, Kareen, ex-girlfriend, my sister, at least Taylor's a Libra, both my grandmothers, I said it before. So, surrounded by Libras in my life. And, um, you know, good friend Heather. The, the Libras are great people and they want to help. They need help sometimes too. And they got to be open to taking advice. All right? Libras, you can get better. You don't know it all. And don't be afraid of, of change and confrontation. That's what Libras have to work on. Confrontation is not always a bad thing. And you gotta live in honesty. When you lie to yourself about your friends or your family or what's going on, you, you're only hurting yourself, okay? It's okay to ruffle feathers and be true to your heart. God bless you, Libras, all right? Taylor to you coaching. Peace, Libras. Hit me up.